Ah, the shoulder nipples back. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 166 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best gaming setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. See anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But like clockwork, let's start off episode 166. All right, it's that time of week where we have J Fox now showing off the IKEA desk setup here. Really nice job matching those like the like the matte gray or charcoal walls with that color of the drawers. I think it makes the setup flow really nicely. And J Fox is going with a single ultra wide monitor here. Always a good choice. And it's the Alienware AW 3418DW, a pretty popular gaming panel. Checking out the peripherals, is a Logitech G610 Orion keyboard with brown switches, a graffiti keyboard wrist rest with the Logitech G305 mouse. You can see in the back there that is the JBL Nano patch, which is going to control his speakers, the JBL LSR30X. Then he also has the Mastrop THX AAA 789 headphone amp, powering the Mastrop and Focal LX headphones. Now, as for the PC, we have the Fractal Design R6 case. Inside the Ryzen 2600X CPU with the Fractal Design Celsius S36 AIO on the Asus Crosshair 12 motherboard, 32 gigs of G Skill Ripjaw RAM, and EVGA 2080. Why did that sound so weird? An EVGA 2080 XC Ultra GPU. So a nice build inside the nice case, which is going to really complete the, the nice setup. I dig just the simplicity to it. Really nice uh, accent there with those dark gray walls. Definitely going to complement a lot of the peripherals and just the setup as a whole. Digging the vibes from this one. Uh-oh, now we got imposter Frank. Frank D here. Not Frank P. We got random Frank D over here trying to take over the channel with his quadruple gaming setup with that massive overhead and the triple monitors on the desk. Let's check it all out. So those bottom three monitors are 24 inch, 165 Hertz panels from Dell. Then that overhead is a massive 65 inch 4K Samsung TV. Got a light shirt behind each monitor and behind the TV just to give it all, you know, that extra glow, which is really gonna complement his wallpaper. So that's spanned across the four different displays here. It all just looks really nice and complete now with the light strip behind it. I say it pretty much almost every episode, but tip of the day, span your wallpapers. Good job, Frank. Now getting into his peripherals, he has the Razer Black Widow X Chroma Mercury keyboard, which always just looks really, really cool. I love the white accents here with the all white peripherals. So he also has the Razer Lancehead Mercury uh, mouse, the SteelSeries Arctic 7 headset in white on a SteelSeries mouse pad, then a little Xbox One uh, controller there also in white. Now over to the PC, and I think it's like the eighth episode in a row that we've had a wall-mounted PC like this. Like I've been saying for the past two months, I'm all for it. This is the Thermaltake Core P3 case. Inside is an Intel i7 8700K CPU with the N60 Kraken X72 AIO on an MSI B360 Gaming Arctic motherboard, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB RAM, and an EVGA RTX 2080 Founders Edition GPU. So the setup itself is just bonkers, no doubt about it, especially with all those pixels, and it's just, that is a massive overhead. But the one bit of advice I gotta give you is just to add something to the walls. The walls just seem very uh, lonely some prints, just some figures or something, I don't know, you gotta, you gotta really help your setup out because having this massive setup just on a blank wall and maybe like a blank room doesn't do it justice. So just fill it up a little bit, check out some prints, some wall decor, anything like that, get inspired and fill those walls. Don't let me down, Frank. Speaking of filling walls, we got Wayne, and I'm gonna touch on that more in a minute, but another nice and simple single ultra-wide monitor here. Uh, lots of color and stuff too. Crazy looking PC, color in the, uh, the peripherals, the prints above the walls. But let's get into the nitty gritty here. Wayne's also using the Alienware 34 inch, the AW3418DW. And again, we have a nice wooden desktop against like a black or a dark gray wall. Just that contrast is always really, really nice to see. But like I touched about just like, I don't know what, 20 seconds ago, those prints above his walls. So those are completely custom made like LED acrylic printouts. He has his own Etsy shop, I'll drop it down below, but he hand makes these, they're really, really awesome. It's called a Straight Up Concepts. He makes these like RGB blueprints. So you got Bioshock, Zelda, saw Halo before with the Needler. Really, really cool stuff. That's what I'm talking about. That's some true DIY dedication. 
And went to his peripherals, we have the Razer Black Widow X Chroma Keyboard with the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition mouse on a Viboom's extended mouse pad. His speakers there are the uh, Logitech Z313 with the Razer Man of War headset. Down to his PC, NZXT the H440 case, the special Razer edition, as you saw by his Razer gear. Uh, Intel i7 8700K CPU with the Thermaltake NIC Series C5 cooler. 16 gigs of ballistic sport RAM on an Asus Strix Z370E motherboard. And an Asus ROG Strix GTX 1080 Ti graphics card. Tons of RGB inside the Razer case. Definitely makes it look pretty cool. And plus, when you have this colorful PC, it's going to really make your uh, those prints above the wall stand out even more. So kind of, you know, matching that there, even in the daytime, a nice, you know, day glow shot with the uh, the sunlight flowing in on the, the, the trees and the wallpaper. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Even got the Tomlin's wooden desk lamp. Wayne, my man, this is what's up. Next is Quinn with the IKEA desk setup, and he's rocking three monitors. Nicely mounted on the wall. There are actually uh, two separate ones here, so we'll just dive right in as we usually do. The left and right ones, they are 27-inch 4K monitors from LG, with the primary one being an Acer Predator Z35P curved ultra-wide monitor, and apparently something super secret on that left one. I'm digging the nod he has, the Star Wars going on with the pop figures, the, the Vader helmet, and even that Stormtrooper helmet off to the left side. That's acting as a, uh, a headset stand, which I've seen done before but it's a really sick way to just have your headphones on display uh, definitely dig the creativity here and uh, that is the Razer Man of War headset sitting on that uh, decapitated stormtrooper there into the rest of his peripherals we have the Razer Black Widow Elite keyboard the Razer Mamba Chroma mouse and the Razer Firefly Chroma mouse pads so uh, lots of chroma going on get the the orange-ish in there and the Firefly mouse pad to kind of go along with that salt lamp he has make give it those warm glows I dig it now for his PC which goes along perfectly with that stormtrooper this is like the Star Wars case, if you will. Uh, it's the Corsair Graphite 780T case. It's not affiliated with Star Wars. I'm just saying that because it looks like a Stormtrooper. Inside an AMD Ryzen 7 1800X CPU with the Corsair Hydro Series H110i AIO on the MSI X370 Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard. 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM and dual EVGA GTX 1080 Super Clock graphics cards. Gotta love a super beefy build like this. Super beefy build, super beefy build. Say that 10 times fast. And also a good job with uh, cable management all around with all the monitors and all the gear. That is a really, really clean desktop. Now across the room he also has a really nice entertainment setup. Really sick console, the mounted TV, again virtually no cables in sight, tons of extra Star Wars pop figures, and um, on display there, that's a 55 inch 4K uh, TV from LG as well, but yeah, just a really sick entertainment setup just right across the room. So really good stuff, Quinn. I should probably also note to the viewers that there were like 20 other pictures he submitted of all the pop figures and other Star Wars stuff around the room. So a Star Wars fan pulled off nicely in a setup. And then last but not least, we have Ross with a simplistic minimal budget setup. He said this was all under a thousand dollars and uh, I'm digging the vibes in this one and those watermelon socks. We're gonna get me some of those. But no, this is definitely a chill looking setup. Uh, really digging the vibes here. Probably said that already, but it's all right. Let's check it out. So behind the wooden desk, nice LED light strip. to give it some, uh, you know, that accent glow. That is a 24 inch LG monitor, the 24 MP 88 HV. Gotta love model numbers. We have a pair of Panasonic SA PM32 speakers with like a little uh, Lego guy up top and a cyclone on the other. Keeping it simple for the desktop, that is a Vixing i500 keyboard with a Shark Force mouse. So again, contributing to that budget build. Uh, simple extended mouse pad. And then for his headphones, the Audio-Technica ATH M20X. These are like right under 50 bucks, so pretty good budget pair of headphones. Definitely sound good as well. Now over to the PC, a bit of an older build. It's the Cooler Master Elite 430 case. Inside is an AMD FX 6300 Black Edition CPU with the Cooler Master Hyper CX3 cooler, 8 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and a an NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti graphics card. So like I said, a bit older, a bit dated. That's all right. If not a big gamer, you'll get by just fine. You can see this panorama shot. He still has like the uh, an Xbox One there, so a console gamer on the side. Digging all the green you have, the plants, the stuff above your setup. Again, just giving the room some personality. Even got the long boards mounted. Ross, my man, I dig your aesthetic. 
And this episode of Room Tour Project is sponsored by Corsair and the brand new Corsair Harpoon Wireless RGB Mouse. Utilizing the brand new Slipstream technology, that makes this the fastest and most efficient wireless mouse on the market. With up to 60 hours of battery life and six programmable buttons, the Harpoon Wireless can be yours for just $50. If you wanna check out more, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 166 of Room Tour Project. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. And don't forget, check the description down below for all the gear and hardware you saw. Have a listed down there for you, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your gaming setup if you want to be possibly considered to be on a future episode of Room Tour Project. So if you think your setup is better than the ones you showed off today, feel free to submit. If you haven't already, feel free to hit me up and follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.